Hey everybody, I'm here with part four of path four of my Abyss unit and resource overview. In the last video, I looked at the Hood, Modoc, Morningstar, Darkhawk, and Red Skull. First champion for this video is Bishop. For Bishop, I used Doom, it took two revives, I used three health pots, and it cost 164 units. Bishop's Abyssal ability, critical hits against Bishop suffer negative 100% attack. Whenever a bleed effect is inflicted on Bishop, he regenerates a lot of health over five seconds and gains a small trickle of power. Draining one or more bars of power from Bishop in a single instant causes him to suffer a lot of direct damage. The next fight I had was Symbiote Supreme. For Symbiote Supreme, I used Void. It took nine revives, eight health pots, and cost 569 units. Symbiote Supreme's Abyssal ability, Striking Symbiote Supreme with a critical hit grants him a Mana Burn Charge. When he hits 20 charges, they are all removed and he gains a Power Flood effect, granting 1.5 bars of power over 25 seconds. While the Power Flood effect from above is active, the attacker takes 1270 direct damage per second unless Symbiote Supreme is power locked. The next opponent was Massacre, or Massacre. For this fight, I used Corvus. It took 11 revives. I used 8 health pots, and it cost 664 units. Massacre's Abyssal ability. If either champion lands an attack, they inflict a Fracture Charge on their opponent. Fracture Charges reduce block proficiency by 400, and can eventually invert the blocking damage reduction. Massacre is indestructible while he isn't blocking. While his opponent is blocking, Massacre fights very aggressively. While he is blocking, attacks against Massacre gain plus 100% attack. And here's a clip of gameplay of Corvus versus Massacre. When fighting Massacre, you're going to want to build up the Fracture charges on him. The more Fracture on him, the more damage you do into his block. When using Corvus for this fight, you want to start off hitting into him as much as you can while he's not blocking. You want to hit him as much as you can while he's blocking when you have your Glaive Charges active. This fight gets tricky when you're juggling the Fight Me Coward text and you're making sure that you don't get backed into your corner. The best piece of advice I can give for this fight, don't get hit by Masker's L2. It's not pretty. And now back to our regularly scheduled resource and unit breakdown. The next opponent was Omega Red. For Omega Red, I used Aegon and Corvus. I finished off Omega Red with Corvus in order to pick up the Mutant Charge. This fight took four revives and cost 160 units. Omega Red's Abyssal ability, for each bar of power filled by the Defender, they trigger a passive Fury for the duration of their special attacks, increasing their attack 7.5%. Every critical hit by either champion in this fight increases the Defender's power rate by 1% for the rest of the fight. The next opponent was Hyperion. For Hyperion, I used Doom. 
It took three revives and cost 820 units. Hyperion's Abyssal ability, gain an unstoppable buff every 30 seconds that lasts 15 seconds. If you nullify a buff off the defender, reset the timer to trigger another unstoppable. I've left a link in the comment section for gameplay of Doom vs. Hyperion. And that's it for part 4 of Path War of my Abyss unit and resource overview. Thanks for watching.